we have outtakes? I do hope you're keeping all the bullshit footage that we just get. Mic check, mic check, one, two, three, suck mic check. Oh, no, oh, that, that, that. What's up guys and welcome to today's video. This is about to be a fire video. Because we're sitting here right now, podcast style. Yes. And we're about to answer the question, does size matter? And more specifically, what is the perfect size? And we're talking about books. What is the perfect of course. length? For your book as in pages and words and then what is the perfect size for like the paperback version of your book and we your also cover. we also got a real paperback version that we're going to show you guys later to show you exactly what it looks like what a book of this size it looks like it comes from kdp print we'll be examining it uh so you guys can see what that looks like so if you've never looked at it before yes so answering the first question what is the perfect length for your book in terms of words how many words should your book be mm -hmm. now let's just cut straight to it and answer it in our opinion, the answer is 30,000 words. This is what we recommend for everyone now, there's a in few publishing. There's a few different reasons why. For one, with regards to the audiobook, you want your audiobook to be at least three hours long. Yes. Right? And if you go by ACX's formula, we have other videos explaining why you want a three hour long audiobook, but it has to do with the price point. Yeah, I think it's about 28,000 comes out to three hours long if you have like a narrator that speaks like the normal speed. That's like right? the estimated. But some will speak slower, some will speak faster. So just in case we have a narrator that reads a little faster, we like 30,000 words just to be sure that we can hit that three hour length every time. So that's one, that's one reason. And the other is that for quality sake, right? Now I know a lot of other people, I don't know how much anymore because people are kind of starting to realize that like these short 10,000, 15, 20,000, some people were even publishing 5,000 5, words. No, that was the big thing in the beginning of publishing. It's been a couple of years since. Mm -hmm. I think people are starting to realize that that's not right anymore. Yeah. That that sucks. Yeah. A 5,000 word book sucks. Yeah. So right. basically what everyone else teaches is 5,000, 10,000, 15,000. The most I've seen someone else say is 20,000 word books. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we say 30,000. And the reason being, like you were saying, is just for quality's sake. Because when someone buys a book, uh, they give you money for your book. They're expecting something in return. If someone is buying like a 10, 15, or $20 paperback book, uh, like paperback is probably where you can make the most money along with your audiobooks. <clears throat> someone pays like 20 bucks for a book. They don't want like a five or 10,000 word book, like a little pamphlet mm -hmm. that you just flip through in 30 minutes. That's like 50 pages. But, like that's gonna piss people off. Like. We're trying to run a publishing business the right way and provide value to our customers. So we need to give them what they're paying for. The goal is not to trick them into buying your book, especially your ha, you got book. my book. And then once they get it, they're like, what the fuck? I spent 20 bucks on this shit? Mm -hmm. Seriously, mm -hmm. fuck this, leave mm -hmm. a bad review. Like, you can do that and have success in the beginning, but it's not sustainable. A lot of people and it's had bullshit. A lot of people have done that and made a lot of money doing it that way. But like you said, it's not sustainable. Mm -hmm. Want to build a publishing business with books that are gonna make money for like years and years. And the only way to do that is to create good books that are gonna promote people to leave good reviews instead of bad reviews. Like bad reviews will kill your book. Mm -hmm. No one buys a book with bad reviews. Like. No. So that's why. Now with that said, let's take a look at a 30,000 word paperback book and see mm -hmm. what it looks like. Mm -hmm. So I have one, I'm gonna grab it from underneath my chair right mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And now after that, we'll also answer the, uh, in terms of size, what's the best size. But first, let's look at this book. This is right. what a paperback book uh, published with KDP print or printed by KDP print looks like. This is 30, it's like 31,000 words-ish. 30,000 words. Now this is a book written by my girlfriend, Laura. It is called My Mindfulness Movement Journey, Practicing Yoga and Mindfulness for Beginners in Plain English. It's got some keywords in there. Um, if you are into yoga and mindfulness, go check out this book, link in the description if you're curious to buy it. It's a very good book, tells about her life and yoga and mindfulness and all that stuff. But let's move back on topic, mm -hmm. right? So let's take a look at what the book looks like. Okay, so here we have the cover. Now it's 30, about 31,000 words long. Okay, let's, let's look at this. So it, this is, I think, Font Times New Roman, font size 12. If you want to see what it looks like, ba boom. So some professional formatting went went into this as well. We can mm -hmm. make a video showing you how to format your book. Yeah, and this was actually formatted. Comment below if you want that. It was actually formatted by the Urban Writers. Now it does have some mileage on it. That's why I like the corner's a little bent. But let's see how many pages it is. So yeah, 30,000 words will come out to about 150 pages. This is 156 pages. A 150 page book what is like say? the perfect size. 
Thank you that? to the Mickelson twins. Okay, so this. Wait, what? What does it say? It says that. Have you not read her book? No, I've not read her book. In the middle of filming. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Oh, nice. Right. So this is 156 pages long. It's about I don't know what what, what would you call this? I don't inches? know what that is. Inches. One and a half, two centimeters. Don't do it like that. Oh, that's how I measure inches. So, but this is like a very high quality book. If I got this, I'd be like, "Fuck yeah, I'm happy about this goddamn book." Yeah, right. right. As long as it's good. But right off the bat, like this looks like what you fucking paid for. Mm -hmm. 150 pages looks great. Like a professional book. Mm -hmm. Like you don't want to be publishing books that aren't professional that are spammy. Like there are a lot of people. You'd be surprised how many people teach 5,000, 10,000, 15,000 word books. Like let me just say, uh, 15. So, well, 5,000 is like this or something. It's literally a fucking pamphlet. Look, <laughs> 5,000 words. Like the biggest publishing course teaches 5,000 word books. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. 15,000 is gonna be half, like 80 pages, that's better, but, but still. An 80 page book is still not a, a proper book. 150 pages, boom. Like it's gonna be loud when you slam it. I do wanna cover some of the settings that were chosen when printing this book. So it is cream paper, not white. I much prefer cream. Cream looks a lot better. Yes. Um, and yeah, look at that cover. Super high quality cover. We'll get into that in another video. But even the detail on the back cover, those little accents, right? Yeah. Super nice colors, but. Yeah. Yeah, looking yeah. good? Looking uh -huh. good. So the cover is matte. Yes. It is matte. Yes, I was gonna say there's, not glossy. There's two options when you print with KDP print. There's glossy and matte. This is matte. It's just not glossy, uh, and it's just it's just super fucking professional. Yeah, glossy kind of looks like a textbook. A textbook is glossy. Yeah. So let's also answer the question: What is the perfect size for your book? And like your book cover, the dimensions. Yes. So this is five by eight, five inches by eight inches. This is five inches. This is eight inches. See, it, guys, eight mm -hmm. inches is a lot. Girls don't understand how much eight inches. This is, is eight, a lot. eight eight inches is a lot. You don't need eight inches for the for the book. You do need eight. Five anyway, by eight. Sorry. No, but to answer the question, what is the perfect size? There isn't a perfect size, like that is perfect for every single book. I like five by eight. Let five by eight is my favorite size. It's not too big. It's not too small. To me, it's just perfect size, right? Um, and also, I think five by eight and six by nine are the two most commonly used sizes for self-publishers. If you use a six by nine, that also means that the book cover, well, the pages are going to be bigger, so there's going to be more words on each page, meaning there's going to be less total pages yeah so this is 156 if it was six by nine it might be like 130 so just or like keep, 100 pages yeah so just not nah, it would be more maybe 120 so just keep that in mind that you do also want a paperback book with more pages with right? some girth to it you want some solid girth yeah. let's have some good girth so sorry, let's just say a great recommended size is five inches by eight inches mm -hmm. so when you're publishing your paperback books we would definitely recommend going with that option. Um, so that basically answers the question, right? How long should your books be? We told you why. It's 30,000 words because one, that makes the best length for an audiobook, and two, this act it actually creates like a sizable book that has a lot of information and a lot of value to provide to readers. Mm -hmm. And then next, uh, what should the size be for like the cover? For the paperback version, five by eight. Yeah, that's just the question. There you go. Yeah. Anything more to say on that? There is not. Nope. So with all that said, there let us is choose a, yeah, yeah. the magic emoji of the video. Just drop that damn book emoji, boy. That book the emoji. One, the one book. There's a one book and a three book. Or a two book. Go with the one book. Mm -hmm. Spam that shit. Yeah, spam that shit. Do like 10, 20, 30 of them. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like. We probably already asked for that earlier with some animations. But subscribe because we got hella more like good publishing, not good, great, amazing publishing tutorials and videos on our channel. Best publishing channel on YouTube. Like, I, sorry. Like, no, normally people would say that to kind of like, oh, look at how good I am. Like, I just say it casually because that's just straight facts. Yeah. Like, there is no other channel on YouTube that makes anywhere near as good publishing videos as we do. That's just what it is. Yeah. So, with all so, that said, subscribe for that free reason. Free training in the description about publishing. And yeah, that's what it is. See you guys in the next video. Play that song everyone likes. Oh, 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 oh,